The official super PAC supporting former President Trump launched a new website called Biden Mart, where users can compare grocery prices between the current and previous administrations. I'm with Courtney for the fact check team. Inflation might be cooling, but let's mm -hmm. talk about those food prices. What are they looking like? So I looked at the most recent consumer price index report. There's some good news and some not so good news. The food ended index in general did not change from January to February, but it was up just over 2% from the year before. And if we look specifically at grocery prices, they were unchanged over the month, but up 1% from a year ago. The big hit was food away from home, which was only up 0.1% from January, but up 4.5% from the year before. And the big question, why? So there are a lot of factors that could be playing a role here, like ongoing supply chain issues, higher labor costs, and high wholesale prices, which are up more than 22%, which cause restaurants especially to jack up their prices. The U.S. is also dealing with the smallest cattle inventory in more than 70 years. All right, food prices, they impact us all. Courtney, right. thank you. And Courtney will be back with more on how fast food prices have changed over the years.